Welcome back, friends. The newest weekly event has just started. It is the Spiral Showcase, and it runs from the 30th of May until the 5th of June, 2023. Let's check it out. To find out about the weekly events, click on the Special Event tab at the top right. The Pet Promenade has ended, and you have until Friday of this week to redeem anything that you've earned or it goes away. And any points that you earn in these weekly events goes towards your current Scroll of Fortune, which has one day left. And if you have membership, you also have double points right now. And another thing to note is that the Utopian Sabretooth has finally made it into the crown shop for everyone to purchase. It's 7,500 crowns for this mount. Very, very nice. I love the glowing. It's just beautiful. What a unique mount color combination that they picked for this. I like it. Alrighty, Spiral Showcase. This is the only event that doesn't have a teleport to event button because this one can take place just about anywhere in the spiral. How you get points is catching a fish, one point per rank. You can get up to 20 points per day. Feeding a pet a snack, one point per pet age, up to epic. Now that's not the one where you feed it here for happiness. This is the one where you feed it after the pet game. Completing a daily assignment, one of those per day, 20 points each. Crafting an item, no transmute, so no crafting those spell elements, at least not for points. You can craft them anytime you want. You can get credit for five of those per day at four points each and helping a team in your two highest worlds, you get credit for one per day at 20 points each. So it is a pretty easy 100 points. The only thing that might be a problem is the pet snack and catching a fish if your wizard is low level and doesn't have a lot of energy. And what do you get? You get some gold. You get some pet snacks. You get some treasure cards. You get some mega reagents. Then you get some more gold and a minor fishing luck elixir. Some mega snacks. My favorite, the Professor's Horde Pack. Oh yes, I actually got a per mount last time. Woo -woo. And then finally for 500 points, you get a gold skeleton key. By the way, if you just happen to use gold skeleton keys on one particular wizard, these are shareable between your wizards, just to let you know. All right, let's get into it. First off, I like to open up the shop button, the crown shop button, just to see what my daily assignment is. It's right at the very top there. For me, it is getting a reading by defeating one long shadow mantis in the Konda Desert. Uh, I don't love the fighting ones, but that's okay. So while we're getting ready to head out to that, let's get a team up started. Ooh, Manticore's Madness. That's a little long, however. This one can tend to take a while depending on what you choose. If there's mostly longer instances or only longer instances available in your highest worlds, it might take a little bit longer or you just might choose to do a longer one. Some of those have pretty good drops. Alrighty, while we're waiting for that to start, let's go over to the Konda Desert. Or not. <laughs> right, so we're done with that one. We got our 20 special event points. Now we're here, might as well do a little bit of fishing. Come on, you. I don't think I've caught any of the uh, fish that are in chrysalis yet. Okay. Uh, by the way, these don't count as fish, because, well, they're not fish, they're chests. So even though you caught something, it doesn't count towards your fishing amount. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, it's so cool looking. Rhino beetle fish, okay. And that one's two points. Personally, I prefer to go into the school houses because then you don't have to guess what any of the school of the fish are. So in a myth house, you would just use myth lures. A mullet fish, what? Oh no, come on. You give me another chest. Woo, long edge of bright eyes. Well, that'd be nice if, uh, you know, balance. Um, This looks just like the one for the bundle. Oh, what? Pretty sure this is what we're after. <laughs> Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there we go, 20 special event points. Sweet. I just like their big shiny eyes. And let's see how many we have so far. We got 16 out of 20 points. Obviously it'll take you less time if you catch the higher rank fish, but uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, you just won't catch any fish. I don't mind the, the thingies, but I really want the fish. <laughs> I'd rather fish the chests right now, thank you very much. Yay! Okay, so I think I still need one more. Oh, I forgot I was gonna go catch one of them fishies out of my house. 
Well, I got all those points, so we still need feeding a pet a snack and crafting an item. Easy peasy. Go home. As always, my go-to for crafting is the bee's moon seeds. However, you don't have to do those. You can craft snacks. You can craft gear. You can craft treasure cards. There's so many things that you can craft. Now let's head on over to the pet pavilion. Now because my magnificent Rex is ultra, I'm not going to use this pet. Let's use this other pet here because all I'm going to do is skip the game so I don't have to actually play it. And then I only have to do it five times because I only get four points each time. Pretty fast. And that is it. That is my 100 points. It took me a half an hour, but that's because I did some different type of fishing that I normally do. Let's see what we got. We got the gold, we got the snacks, and we got the treasure cards. Now these are going to be the simple versions, not the Spellman upgraded versions. If you get, you know, the what, rank one through sixes. I do believe it's only rank one and two. Maybe rank three in this pack right here, the Eye of Bartleby pack. And that's it. And now you just wait until the next day and you can do it all over again. Or you can swap to your next wizard and start grinding it out. Thanks so much everyone for checking out this quick look at the Spiral Showcase event happening now. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!